Hello, everybody. And what do you guys think? Rock. Paper. Or scissors. Let's find out. I'm going to go with scissors. Yay. Diamonds. Huh. What next? Paper. Diamonds. Rock. Or diamonds. Let's do that one again. Oh no. Oh no. Lava. Ah, no. Ah. Well, I still got my diamonds. Yay. I meant to jump. Yay. And I am going to be showing you how to build all of this, so stay tuned. And in case that wasn't clear, this is a rock, paper, scissors machine. But let's get right in. Uh, let's, let's get this started. <laughs> another video on the redstone in the redstone testing world we've got everything now we've got weird cobblestone machines we have wandering villagers um we got all kinds of stuff but one of the coolest things we have is these signs rules what are you telling me about rules well this is a rock paper scissors machine it um yep yeah, anvils lava um arrows yeah um not a pleasant place but this is actually um a new build i've been working on and yeah yeah um but i and i'm going to be doing a breakdown but let me just give you a brief summary of my rule set Play in survival mode, don't break any blocks. Start game with no item. Game starts when you enter the cube. I am calling this the cube. The box. Exit the cube any way possible while still f while still following all rules. Remember to reset when you're done. Do not remove anything from dispensers. Pretty standard rules, because if you're removing something from the dispensers, that would make this game super easy. Um, there is one change that that some of you might make, but I decided to leave it how it was. Uh, the fact that there's no randomness in the, the actual death sequence. Um, it's actually based off of what you pick. But, first of all, the computer. I have, this is a simple three-way randomizer. Um, there's all of these pistons uh, fire at the exact same time and the redstone block will be sent in a random direction to power three different redstone lines each of those redstone lines is hooked up to one of these lamps just it looks complicated but it's just simple when you think about it um, and also there were three buttons inside um, Yep, three buttons inside, and those three buttons are linked up to more of these diamond blocks down here. Um, yes, when you push a button, it receives a signal, and and each button also also links to a redstone line that powers all of these, so that when you make a choice, the computer also makes a choice. Um, and I have very long redstone lines here. Uh, you could change that to, um, to, you could set up a, a subtract mode comparator to shorten those redstone lines. I just went old school. Um, but each of the, I just made, make sure the redstone line is long enough so that, uh, no other buttons link up to it. You see, this redstone line, I made it go out, uh, far, uh, redstone signal goes out 15 blocks. So, since these sort of have to link in the way that they connect down here, um, they sort of need to link up one one place or another. Um, sure, some of you could figure out a way to make it so that they don't link, but I'm not worrying about this. I'm just doing the basics and the cool stuff. 
Um, but yes, this redstone line is long enough so that this is this will run out of signal before it makes it to that repeater here. But if you push th this button up here, it won't. Uh, same for all of these. Redstone signal goes out 15 blocks. So just if you want, just make it go out 15 blocks from this here. I believe I made it go out the bare minimum so that th so that all the other lines would run out of signal. But yes, and each line is linked up to a simple AND gate. I don't know why I have this still. I I do crude redstone. I just sort of leave things everywhere. This is my first like weirdly fun redstone build. So like there's a lot of oh joy. Oh, okay. Good, good, good. Um yeah, let's not worry about that. Um yeah. Um just get rid of all that. Um yes, this is an AND gate. It it makes and uh, this, of course, is an output from uh, the button push, and this receive this input goes from um, from the lamp of the correct the correct lamp. Yes, over here, I believe this is the scissors lamp, and it and it's linked up to um, like a whole punishment. Um, it yeah. The output that you receive from it is links up to the punishment part, and if you were to select paper, and the computer selects scissors, um, this AND gate here uh, causes uh, one of the punishments to activate. You could link all three AND gate outputs um, into a another randomizer and use that to decide what the punishment is, and you can add in your own punishment and make it however you want it to be, but I went with three simple punishments, anvils, arrows, and lava. Yep, it, there are signs underneath all of these anvils, um, yeah, I just place the signs, make sure they're all linked up to this sign, so that when you break this sign, the anvils all fall. Yeah, I'll clean that up later. Um, Yes, you just have have to place it kind of like this. Make sure it's all linked up to that one sign that's on the piston face. Don't make it touch the wall normally, otherwise uh, not all of the anvils will fall. Yeah, just uh, make sure you do that. This isn't really the funnest part. This is the only one that you really have to reset every time it happens, but it's the most likely to kill you. And yes, I said most likely. These traps are not all guaranteed death. Notice in my rules, I said any way possible. That means taking advantage of your surroundings to cheat death. Um. Of course, you can make up your own rules, like gentlemen's rules, be nice, except when you're supposed to die, and that sort of thing. It's all... Yeah, just... You, you can make up your own rules of any kind. I just did those rules as a little suggestion. Um, some basic stuff. I find it fun to look for all like the little loopholes and everything in games. Um, that's why I... That's the only reason I do glitches in Breath of the Wild. I find it fun. But we're here to talk Minecraft. And yes, Minecraft month has run over into December. Uh, I will not be doing exclusively Minecraft this month, but it may turn out that way. But it's not my intention. It's not my plan just to do Minecraft this month. Um, make sure you sneak if you're going to place anvils on anvils. Um, yeah. Oh, this would be a nightmare to reset in survival mode. Um, but yes, this is more for just like a cool little mini game. Oh, and also, if you guys can uh, do me a fa big favor and let me know in the comments of anything, let me tell me anything you know of in Minecraft that's laggier than end crystals, that would be much appreciated. Um, maybe something that causes server-side lag. Hint, hint, that might be my next video. I'm just kidding. Yes, it will be. I'm not sure. But yes, um, and it's the same concept for all of it. And if you want to be super 
duper duper sneaky you can make it if you just want to play with your friends you can just make it so that the exact opposite of an and you could set up an extra little redstone component so that if you select paper but the computer selects rock it just kills you anyway you only win when you lose and that just confuses people but it wouldn't really matter because it's entirely random but yes oh and with the whole lava thing um since the lava needs to retract i just took it out take an output from the and gate for the, for rock um get rid of that button and it goes over here and yeah and then um, then it goes into a comparator um, pulse extender and make sure not to go more than four comparators with a pulse extender then you can extend the extender like this um, yeah and then I took a, an observer output from one of the comparators so that you can get a double pulse and look and I linked it up to all these dispensers that have lava buckets in them and that way the lava will spill out when when the thing begins to when the thing lights up and powers then when it unpowers it it uh, fires again to put the lava back in the buckets but yes and with arrows um, I'm not getting too far into all of these things because you can set up your own trap but these are three basic cool traps output from the AND gate um, into this little observer clock where the observing faces are going up on each other and then I linked it up to all of the dispensers and I used glowstone to get the signal up here because uh, dispensers aren't like pistons for some reason the redstone doesn't just automatically link up to them and these these are powering these and they're also powering that but since this is on a block it's also powering that block which powers this so yes just sort of do like this with um wait a second something's not right here <laughs> whoops that could explain why not as enough arrows were firing out uh, yes, make sure it's all linked up properly. Yes, be extra double sure of that, and be extra double sure that lines, redstone lines, don't connect like that. That is the most annoying thing with big redstone contraptions. All the lines overlap and you get problems. Um, I was having a weird problem at first when whenever someone selected scissors, it was giving them a punishment, even, even if the computer selected um, paper, so... Yeah, that was annoying. Oh, and it also, if the computer selects the same thing you do, it treats it as a win. Um, yeah, I give you the benefit of the doubt. But that is completely off. You could... Oh, and for the diamond distribution thing, I went very, very simple on that. And just... Um, uh, let's see, what did I do? Where did I do it? Oh yes, every time the randomizer is powered, uh, I get a signal coming out over here. If I could just get through and then it comes around, I don't know why I went so roundabout way. But I just connect the... Mm, uh, I hate walking around in spaces like this. Um, but yes, it links up like this. Every time the randomizer is powered, it comes around and powers both dispensers. Um, the dispensers are, I have repeaters there to take the output, to take a signal from this block and make sure the lines aren't connecting still. Um, and then I have the dispensers with the diamonds in them over there. And of course, the way you actually get out is there's no rule against placing blocks and make sure there's not because, um, and you can make this as high as you want, or as low as you want. You could just make it so that you only need one block to escape. Um, yeah, you could just make the opening this low, so that all you need is one block to escape, but of course you're going to want to get more. That's completely up to you. I went about seven-ish blocks up. I counted it, and 
I believe like this you need seven diamond blocks to win and you get two diamond blocks every time so if you win four times uh, you get up and out with one diamond block uh, left to your name of course most people are gonna want to keep going um, but you don't have to and I like to cover these dispensers up with carpet but it's completely optional because um, it doesn't make a difference because it's against the rules to take something out of the dispenser but I just think it looks better with carpet but every time the lava fires all the carpets get destroyed so it's optional and completely up to you but yes that is about all I've got um, make sure to um, to like and subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you get notified I blanked out there and pay no attention to the thing behind me I will not be making a video on that it was a complete failure let's just turn away from that um, look at all my successful builds yeah but make sure to like subscribe click that bell icon to get notified whenever I upload I'm sorry I've been taking a break I took an extended Thanksgiving break yes you heard me right extended Thanksgiving break but, um, yeah, and, uh, if anyone knows of a way to crash the game instantly as of recent Bedrock Edition, please let me know. I've been attempting and completely failing at that. Um, but yes, I'm working on that, and... Yes, make sure to leave your suggestions in the comments down below, and if you are under the age of 13... Get out of my video. Sorry, I hate to drive away my fan base, but uh, COPA is a thing, and even if you're not monetized, you are still vulnerable to COPA. I may or may not make a video about the, everything that's going on with COPA, but I'm just kidding. You don't have to get out of my video, but don't leave a comment. Do not leave a comment if you are under the age of 13, because that is qualified as collecting personal data, apparently, even though you're the one giving me your personal data, which is completely dumb. I don't understand COPA at all, and I don't understand most laws, but uh, this is what America is coming to, and I love you, America. I'm a patriot, and I... Um, that's besides the point, but yes, like, subscribe, leave your suggestions, I read every comment, and make sure to leave your feedback and everything, and yes, I will catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye, this has been The Brain, signing off.